Hi, and welcome to Shin's Towers of Gold. My name is Shin, and this video is about setting up a group in a Trade Skill Master for selling vendor items. Okay, um, this video is a follow on from a post that I've done on my blog. You can see the my blog address on the on the bottom of the screen there. So if you like the video, um, subscribe to it on YouTube. Go check out the blog. My Twitter handles there as well, so you can follow me on Twitter so you get updates about posts and videos and live streaming and stuff like that. So yeah, just uh, follow and uh, add me that sort of stuff. Right, let's crack on with this um, tutorial really of how to set up a, a group in Tresco Master and vendor items. So first thing to do, hopefully you got TSM will open Tresco Master and then we're going to set up uh, the group. Okay, um, I've already got this group already set up in my um, my groups, so but we're, I've done a little test one down this where we, we can um, play around with. So, if we go to test, first thing we do, we've got to go to management. So, we go to management, we're going to make a new subgroup. Okay, so we're going to call that vendor items. Okay, so vendor items, and that should come up in grey. Okay, then, it, then in this group, we need some subgroups for different prices. Okay, so Let's get our let's get our little subgroups together. So we'll go to management again, subgroups. We've got one gold, two, five gold. Really simple, not complicated groups. You don't need to install vendor items. Let's go back to the vendor items and do a couple more management groups, subgroups. So we've got one to five, so then this is five oops, sorry. Five gold to twelve gold. And then we've got another one. Back to management again, another subgroup, and then we've got 12 gold to 20 gold. We've got one more left to do. Let's go to management, and that's called copper bar. Cop, sorry, copy rod. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Right, so there's that. So we've got our main group, and we've got our subgroups, which are all set up. So then we have to go through the pricing, op the operations. We've got the auction operations, and we have a different um, operation for each subgroup. So we start with the basic one to five gold. Make sure you, you uh, tick the override module operations, and then we're going to create an operation. Obviously, I've already got some um, operations made up for this because I obviously use it on on my settings. So we'll just we'll, we'll, so what you do, you'd create an operation. We we'll call it one to five gold like this. So we click that, but we can view the operation so you can see I've got it set up. So one to five gold. First thing you're look, going to come up is the general operations options. Right? Okay, you've got this match uh, stack start. I don't tick that, and then you've got ignore low duration auctions. It's less than thirty minutes, which is short. The medium, and you've got long. Okay, I always set it short because you know you want to just do it that way. It just seems to work better. Okay. Not really, that's not really complicated. Then we go to the posting part. Um, all three are roughly the same, just different pricing. Uh, the last one will be different, but we'll get there. Discuss that. So I, my duration I do for 48 hours. I do a stack a stack size of five and a post cap of one. So I only post one stack of five every time I do. Every time until I sell a stack. Okay, at the moment I might change it. I might end up doing a stack of ten or two stacks of five. At the moment I'm doing one stack of five. Okay. Um, auction price settings, I'm doing 100% bid, bid percentage, uh, undercut anybody by one copper. You're not going to get that many people selling vendor arms there, there's a couple of people that are doing it, but not really many. Obviously posting price settings, because it's 1 to 5, pretty, it's pretty self explanatory. 1 gold minimum price, maximum price 5 gold, normal price 2 gold 50 silver. Okay, And then um, when the when it's below minimum, we don't post, and when it's above maximum, we post at maximum price. Okay, that's the basics of one to five. Okay, so you do that, set that up, be nice, and then we literally we go five to twelve, it's exactly the same. You override op operations. Okay, and then we'd go to the five to twelve. We view the operations, exactly the same again. Thirty minutes. It's all exactly the same, five stack, one post cap, but then obviously our price is different. It's five gold minimum, 
12 gold max, 10 gold normal. Okay, all pretty much, all pretty much the same. So we do you do that one, and then our last one would be of the actual mini ones. There's 12 gold for 20. Same again. Over the operations, you create one. I've already got, I've already got mine done. So 12 for 20, and you, you know, the only difference you've got then, isn't it? It's just uh, the, the money again. Where it's minimum is 12 gold, maximum 20, normal price 15. Okay, really easy. I don't see the point of making it too hard when it comes to vendor items. No point doing percentages of whatever just to get a basic price and then see how that works. And you can change this to whatever fits your realm because obviously every realm is different. So we've got one last group to do, this is where it differs a bit. <coughs> And that's the copper rod group. The copper rod group obviously override. Now I've got my one for this one is 80 gold max because I can sell my copper rods and it's up to 60 fiber at once. So only the difference is I post a 48 hours but I only post one rod at a time. Okay? So or one item at a time, so there's two items in this list. 50 gold minimum, 80 gold max, 65 normal gold. Okay, so it's pretty simple but I just have one at a time. I don't want two men there because there's so many of them. I don't want really to think and trying, trying to find them. Okay, so that's that. So when you've done that, you have all your groups, like all your subgroups, already set up, and then we've got to start moving items over to them. Okay, no point looking at those because all the items have been placed in the group that I use. So we go to my groups. Here's one I was earlier. So we go the one to one to five gold. Okay, and then you want to go to items. And what you do, you'd go if you follow, if you read my blog, there's a blog post there about find, buying all these um, vendor items around Ogrimmar. You know, you can. If it wouldn't be hard to find out where they are in Stormwind or Ironforge, oh, this is, you know, I'm a horde, and so I've done this for Ogrimmar. So, so what you would have, you'd have all the items that you wanted to sell in the left-hand column, and you move them across to the right. So, tend ten this uh, wind feather. If you add it to the other side. Okay, then now when I searched on, when I post on the auction house, it will be in this group, it will go for 2 gold, 50, depending whether it was high, or low, or in normal. Okay, that's pretty simple. You can you can see what I've got over on this side, on the right hand side, which is in the group. Okay, I'll leave it on so you can have a quick idea. A lot of it serve like uh, threads and dyes and stuff, and vials and light patchment. They all sell, you know, they do sell. You know, hopefully I'll be able to show you a couple of examples of that in the mailbox. Okay, that's one to, and then the five to twelve. Obviously, the higher we get up, you got less and less stuff. See, there's quite, you know, we've hardly got any in this ones. But lots of uh, engineer engineering stuff and a couple of dye and some some extra threads. But you know, you got the idea. And then twelve for twenty. It's even less. Got the vanishing powder, people still just, just to disappear, and Star Wars, you think it gets okay. So that's that one. Then we've got the copper rods, obviously, that you understand there's going to be a copper rod there, but also I've got on this plain one staff, which is from the inscription uh, seller vendor. Um, I don't know, just I've been looking at the prices on if you look at my tool tips for the pricing, um, you've got the well auction, you've got the well auction pricing, and I've got the, the TSM. Uh, auction DB pricing is roughly on this on this market. It's sort of like 65 to 70 to 50. You know, it's that sort of price range. Okay, so I'll, I'll, it's more of a test thing to see how it. I haven't sold one yet. You know, I've, I've only done this group for like a couple of days, so it's not set in stone. Okay, so with that, like that, so there you'd have all your four groups set up. So we go and post. I don't know if I've got anything in my bags, but we can. Gonna have a look. We can hopefully you'll get a, a post up. So when you do this group, you want to go and auction. Let's deselect all groups so we can. Sh I can show you. So we've got the vendor items here. Okay, it's gonna start post scan. Pretty simple. It's not took too long. But there we go. See, so Tomb of the Clear Mind. It's gonna put for ten gold. And that's gonna be in a, that's gonna be in a stack of five. And then we've got some silken fruit. Is it silk and thread? Yep, silk and thread. Again, nine gold, nine silver. Obviously, got somebody else doing it. So that's, that's all we've got so far. Because as you can see, I have got loads of stuff. 
already posted. I've literally got most of the stuff the vendor items posted, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll we'll post those two like two items. And then you can see. Sorry about that. Uh, right, so we've done them to ours and if I hopefully I'll better show you the um mailbox so you can see that actually we do get some sales. So you can see that it is actually does work. Right. Yep, so here we go. We've got the sale team of the clear mine sold five for 47, 47 gold 50. See, it's, it does work. Obviously, we've got some expirers here, they have expired, but what else have we got? Let's have a look. Uh, wooden stock, you know, they cost copper, Gentin, enchanting vellums, look, 23 gold. So you can actually see that actually I'm selling stuff. I'm getting some sales here. So not not loads, but it's not that sort of market. It's a it's a fairly basic simple market. If you're new to a realm or you're new to gold making in WoW, it's a good way just to start up, get cheap cheap uh, stuff to buy and flipping it for some gold to make start you off. Okay, so I think I'll do ready for this uh, video. Don't think I'll go too far into it. I think um, it's all you need to know. So good luck out there and um, yeah. So. Catch you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.